Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another COD Mobile video. Today I'm going to show you everything new in Season 5. So definitely make sure to watch the full video and with that being said, here we go. So the first thing I do want to show you is going to be the brand new signature attachment for the RUS. It is a tactical flashlight which allows you to spot enemies from further away. To be honest, it seems really pointless. Anyways though, here is the new seasonal camo known as Pixelated Aggression. Many are saying it's the worst camo so far, but in my opinion, I think it is pretty damn solid. Next though, the level cap has been raised to level 300, with a ton of new rewards. So we have the Gas Nade, Cosmos at 210, the Hades Dark Matcher at 220, the Bat Cosmos at 230, the Striker Cosmos at 240, the Tomahawk Dark Matcher at 250, the Owl Cosmos at 260, the Thumper Cosmos at 270, the QXR Dark Matcher at 280, the EMP Cosmos at 290, and the Man of War Dark Matcher at 300. Next, here we do have the new perk, which is known as Survivalist Specialist. It protects you from one enemy tactical at a time. The cooldown time is 30 seconds. Note, you'll be able to unlock this in Season 6. Here is all the modes available in the new season of the tournament mode. Next, as we can see, the trophy system has finally been added into Battle Royale. Next, the new score streak is known as Guardian, originally from Black Ops 2. It's a placeable device that emits a cone of radiation waves that slows enemies down, obscures their vision, and deals a small amount of damage. Next, the new mode for MP is Search and Rescue, a combination of Search and Destroy and Kill confirmed. So like always, you have to defend or attack two bomb sites. But now, if you're killed, you drop a dog tag, which teammates can use to revive you. Also, if an enemy picks up the dog tag, you're out for that round. Moving on, a new graphics option has been added into the game known as Super Resolution, which delivers a near native resolution quality gaming experience with super high quality edges and distinctive pixel details. This can be used alongside anti-aliasing to boost the graphical quality even further. Definitely a very neat inclusion into the game. Moving on, the new weapon is the FFAR-1 from Cold War. It's got a high fire rate with excellent mobility and powerful damage in medium to close range, but at the cost of high sprint to fire delay. Next, here is a look at some of the new rank rewards, which features a reskin of Gunzo, which I really like, a Maddox skin which is pretty cool, a monkey bomb backpack, and finally, this machete. Now I know, this is not going to be for everyone, but to be honest, I like it quite a bit. But anyways, you can now turn the quick knife button on or off through the settings. That's the button which appears if you're close to an enemy. Next. They have made some changes to the tournament mode, so now both MP and BR modes will be available every weekend. That is a massive W change in my opinion. Also, we will now be able to unlock tournament camos for melee weapons as well, which is definitely another W. Next, players can now also use their 1 CP crate coupons on Mythic card crates, so okay. Moving on, here is the description of the new theme event known as Desolate Endurance. Pause if you want to read through that. The new BP being added to the vault is the In Deep Water Belt Pass from 2021. It matches perfectly with the theme of Season 5. Also to note, starting with Season 5, each Battle Pass vault season will rotate out of the in-game store after 90 days. Moving on, here's a look at the new battle pass and to be honest, I am not the biggest fan. If I am going to be completely honest, it could have been quite a lot better. Next, the new battle pass subscription will include Hunter, his very first time being in COD Mobile, as well as a matching skin for the backpack and the MAC-10. The new map arriving for MP is Armada Strike, originally from Black Ops Cold War. Here is all the balance changes for Season 5 for both MP and for BR. Pause if you wish to read through all of those. Moving on some more, we will either be able to unlock Death Angel Alice, Love Track, or Tengu ICI 
the new shrouds. One is for this season, and the next is for season six. Moving on, here we have a look of all the season five legendary guns, which includes the RUS 79U custom job, the Critic 6 slick chrome, and the KSP 45 jolted radio. The new prestige legendary is for the Arctic 50 Foxfire and honestly is looking pretty nice, definitely not bad. Next though, here we have the new mythic, which is for the FFAR1 known as Bright Blade. It is quite a crazy skin featuring this very wild spinning reload animation, three very nice digital sights, and also its inspection is kind of an expansion to the M13's knife inspection. Overall, it's a pretty nice looking skin. Next though, here is all the lucky draws, consisting of four new draws and one returning one, which is going to be the clean house draw featuring legendary Captain Price. Moving on, here is the new lobby background where we can see the new map being Armada Strike. Here is our first look of the new clan store character, which is just another version of Iskra. Again, nothing special, just like in previous seasons. Moving on, here is all the lucky boxes, which includes the color palette, the biker, the wired dread, and finally the moments of truth lucky box. In terms of crates, we actually have two this time around, being the crimson code crate and the prideful crates as well. I also assume we're gonna have some sort of CDL bundle as well, as two CDL female skins were found in the game files. Next, Scrapyard 2019 is gonna have a dedicated playlist towards the end of the season. Moving on, in BR, the number of charges after an upgrade for the Defender class was increased from one to two, however, only one shield may be up at a time. And now, to finish off the video, here is the new theme music for Season 5. So thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and for now, well, squally out, and cheers, catch you in the next one, and bye.